How do we make a spread point towards another one? Well, the answer is actually pretty simple. We have a built-in function for that. So just go to when green flag clicked, and then if we want the scratch cat to point to the donut, we'll just do point towards donut. And it does. So that's it, right? We have the answer. Well, no, because if we have the donut here, and let's just say when green flag clicked, create a clone of myself, and then when I start as a clone, we'll go to this position, and then when clicked, let's just go to the opposite of this position. So if, for example, if we go to position like Y200, then we create a clone of myself, I start as a clone, go here, and then when clicked, we'll do hide, and when I start as a clone, show. So let's see what happens. As you can see, it points towards our original OG spread right over here, instead of our cloned one here. If we go to the drop down menu, you can't see that spread anywhere. So what do we do? Well, you have to use a bit of math for this, but don't be scared. It's actually pretty easy. So we're going to make a block. Let's call it point towards, and then we'll do X, X, and then Y, Y, and we're going to be using this function. So we can just take these two X's. Let's just simplify that to 180 and then minus 100 and put this in here. And we can see here the outlines of a triangle. So we have one side here, another side here, and then another side here. So like this. And for this, we can use Sokotoa or sine, cosine, and tangent. So the sine of this angle right here will be the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. The cosine will be the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. And the tangent will be the opposite divided by the adjacent. So the opposite is going to be the x and the adjacent is going to be the y, and we're not going to have the hypotenuse here. Well, we could gain that by using the Pythagorean formula, but we're not going to do that because using these two are way easier, so we're just going to use tangent. So how do we gain this side? Well, if we have our x position here and the x position of the spread we want to turn towards here, we're just going to subtract them, and we're going to do the same for the y positions to gain the adjacent. And then then we have the tangent of this angle, but we want this angle and not the tangent of it. So we're going to do arc tangent, which is the opposite of the tangent to gain this angle right here. And if we go back to scratch and we go to operators and we actually look for arc tangent right here, you're not going to find it next to the other functions. Well, that's because it's actually been abbreviated to ATAN in programming. So it's right there. And as I said, first, we're going to go to for the opposite which is our x position. So we're going to do the x position of what we want minus our own x position like this. And then we're going to do divide by the adjacent, which is pretty much going to be the same exact thing. So the y position of the sprite minus our y position and just like that. So let's do point in direction this and see what comes out. As you can see, that seems to not be working. Well, first of all, let's delete this point towards donut. But if we try it again, it still won't work. So what's the problem here? Well, if we're going to point in direction, we can see something strange. So this is actually 90 degrees. And then this is minus 90 degrees. And scratch will only let a tan go from 90 to minus 90 like this. So we're going to need to add another 180 degrees to this to point here. So if we do plus 180, so the opposite side, it's going to seem like it actually worked, but that's not true because sometimes the donut is going to be above us. So we're going to do 180 times y smaller than y position. So what does this do? Well, basically, if this number is smaller than this number, it's going to return one. Otherwise, it's going to return zero. So if we put this here, if it's actually smaller, we're going to do plus 180. And if it's not, it's going to be nullified, so it's going to be plus zero. So now that we have that, let's full screen. And yeah, it works. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And if you want to see another part of making a tower defense game, then click on this pathfinding video.